Hi everybody, welcome to today's workout. So for today's workout, we're going to be doing a circuit workout that has a strength circuit. And then we'll start out each circuit with a cardio pyramid. So for our strength circuit, we're gonna have five exercises. We're gonna work for 40 seconds. We'll have 12 seconds in between exercises and we'll rotate through that three times. Um, and then for the strength pyramid or the cardio pyramid, we're going to do four exercises. And if you think of a pyramid, how the base is big and then it gets each, you know, it gets smaller as you move towards the top. So we'll have an exercise that we do for 60 seconds, an exercise that we do for 45, and then one for 30, and then one for 15 seconds. So we work our way up to the top of the pyramid and then we'll work our way back down the pyramid. Um, for this workout, you're going to need dumbbells. I have two sets. I have a set of 12 pounds and a set of 10 pounds, but it's up to you. You can get away with just one set if you only have one set. And then um, we're gonna need a loop resistance band. If you have one, if you don't, it's okay. You can do some of those exercises without. And if you have a bender ball, go ahead and grab it. But again, if you don't have a bender ball, you could do those exercises without the bender ball. So make sure you have all of those things. Make sure you have your mat. Um, I'm not going to play music in this workout. You can either choose your own work music to play in the background, or if you'd like one of my playlists, I'm happy to send that out or try to link it in the description for the video. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. So for our warm up, we have five exercises that we're going to do, one minute each, five seconds in between each exercise, and then we'll get on with our workout. So go ahead and come to the back of your mat. We're gonna start out with some inchworms. So go ahead and reach your arms up, hinge at your hips, fold forward, bring your hands down, walk yourself out into a plank pose, hold your plank, lift your hips, and walk your hands back, paint your shins, the fronts of your legs with your hands, and then go ahead and reach your arms up. Again, in from your hips, bring your fingertips down, walk yourself out into a plank, hold that plank here, pull your belly button back in and up, lift your hips, Walk your hands back, and then make your way back up to standing. Press through your heels as you reach your fingertips high, and then hinge from your hips as you bring it down. Walk it out into a plank. Hold the plank. Walk it back one more time. Reach those fingertips high, and then with knees bent or straight, inchworm your way out into a plank, and then come back up. To standing. All right, next exercise. We're going to come down into a plank. We're going to step right foot to the outside of the right hand, peel open to a simple twist, lift the backs of your hips, gaze up towards that right thumb, bring the right hand down, step the right foot back, step the left foot up to the outside of the left hand, simple twist, lift the backs of your hips, draw your chest forward, and we're just going to rotate here right foot to the outside of the right hand peel open twist right hand down right foot back step your left foot up peel open simple twist and continue here remember chest draws forward tailbone draws back Pull your belly button back. All right, walk it back. Come up to standing. Our next exercise is some butt kicks. So go ahead and bring your hands back to your tush. Kick your heels in towards your tush. Try to keep your knees pointing down to the ground to open up your quadriceps. And if you'd like to bring some arm movements in, go ahead and pump your arms like we do in those cross-country skiers. But if not, you can always keep your hands at your butt. Okay. 
Du bist ein bisschen arg. You can move around on your mat. Here for just a few more seconds. About five more seconds. And our next exercise is gonna be some lateral lunges. So come to the center of your mat. Step out to the right. Come back to center. Step out to the left. Alternating sides, weight back in your heels, chest lengthening forward towards me. And if you're ready, you can add a knee drive to each lunge. We're going to be doing a little bit of balancing work today in our workout. So get started on using those muscles to balance. Focusing on the low abs as you draw the knee up and in to your chest. Maybe one more each side here. Or maybe a couple more each side. All right, and our final warm-up move is going to be a monster kick with an overhead Press. So I have my palms together and as I kick, I'm crunching my core as I bring that foot up. So you should feel a really nice stretch in your hamstrings here. And that contraction in your front abdominals as you press your hands down to your shin. Okay, we're here for 15 more seconds. Exhale as you lift and crunch, and then inhale as you lower the leg and bring the hands back up overhead. All right, and that concludes our workout. So let's get ready to work here. So I'm going to switch the timer. We're going to start out with our pyramid cardio set. So we're going to start each circuit with pyramid cardio. So again, picture, if you will, a pyramid in your mind, right? Big base. And then as we ascend the pyramid, each layer gets smaller and smaller until we get to the peak. And then as we start to descend, come back down the other side, we're gonna go back in that reverse order. So we have four exercises. We have jumping jacks, we have high knees, we have mountain climbers, and burpees. So it's gonna be jumping jacks for 60 seconds, high knees for 45 seconds, mountain climbers for 30 seconds, Burpees for 15, so we'll let you do burpees once, and then we'll make our way back down the other side and up, okay? So, if you're confused, that's okay. <laughs> Just follow along with me. We're gonna start out with good old-fashioned jumping jacks for 60 seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer. You be ready, and let's go. So jump your feet out wide as your hands come up. Make the arm movements big. This is part of our, still a continuation of our workout, sort of, as we continue to warm up our arms, get our blood flowing. And there's Charlie again. Go up on the bed, Charlie. Oh yeah, she's hiding under the desk. She's not quite sure what's going on, why I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Can you jump a little higher? Can you bring your feet out a little wider? All right, so now we have 10 seconds to catch our breath before we go into 
45 seconds of high knees. So with high knees, you can either run it out or you can do alternating lifts. So if you're running, we're here. And we want our knee to break the line of our hip. If you're stepping it, you're driving those knees up, bringing your arms down. So you decide where you need to be today. Maybe you need to step it up a little bit. Let's get those knees a little higher. Or maybe you worked out really hard yesterday. You want to get your heart rate up, low impact, then you do the knee drivers, the low impact variation. All right, team, just 10 more seconds. Let's go. All right, 10 second break. We're gonna make our way down into a plank for mountain climbers. So shoulders stacked over wrist, draw your gaze forward. And again, you can step them in or you can run opposite knee to opposite elbow. Make sure you gaze forward. Don't look back, keep your chest drawing forward. Shoulders stack directly over your wrists. 10 more seconds, let's go. All right, 10 second break. And then it's everybody's favorite burpees. In five, four, three, and let's go. And again, if you're not jumping burpees today, you step it back and you step it up as fast as you can. Oh, that was painless. Okay, now we're back to those crossbody mountain climbers. Come down into your plank, ready position, opposite knee, opposite elbow, run it out. So we wanna keep our neck in, long, in line with the rest of our spine by gazing towards your hands, or even beyond your hands, beyond the edge of your mat. All right, wasn't so bad. <laughs> 10 second rest, and then we're gonna be back on those high knees. All right, let's go. Maybe you can bring your hands out just a little bit higher than hip height so you can touch those hands if you're running to make sure that you're getting your knees up higher than your hip line. All right, let's go. Last 15 seconds, team, you've got this. I don't know if you can hear me breathing, but I'm breathing hard. Three, two, and one. Okay, 10 second break, and then it's 60 seconds of jumping, you guys. All right, get ready. Let's do it. All right, nice start, guys. So now we're going to move into our first strength circuit. So like I said, we're going to have 40 seconds of work, 12 seconds between sets to rotate. 
or between exercises, and there's going to be five exercises. So for our first set, we're going to have plank rows, a bridge with a skull crusher, then we're going to come into a deadlift with an upright row, and we'll finish it out with two sets of bicep curls, so one traditional bicep curl and one hammer curl. So go ahead and grab, I'm going to recommend your heavier set of weights, but it's up to you. Go ahead and grab your weights. And then if you have a bender ball, go ahead and grab your bender ball. I'm going to get my timer ready. So we are ready here. So for that plank row, you're going to want your dumbbells. And if you have the bender ball, go ahead and bring the bender ball between your upper thighs. We're just going to use it for some hip stabilization during our rows. So once you're ready, go ahead, pull your belly button back towards your spine, press through your heels, and then let's row. So remember, we want our hips to stay facing the ground. We don't want our hips opening up towards the ceiling as we row. And that's where the bender ball helps out. So I'm really squeezing that bender ball between my upper thighs to stabilize my hips. And now that we've got our hips stable, let's work on little cricket wings with those elbows as we draw them up and back. All right, so if you have the bender ball, you're gonna keep it. We're gonna come to our back for some bridges with skull crushers. So keep the bender ball between your knees, bring your hips or heels in towards your hips, lift your hips and skull crushers. So elbows stacked directly over your wrists. We're isolating our triceps. And in that bridge, I want you to focus on tilting your tailbone towards the back of your knees. So as steady as you can, keep those elbows drawn in towards one another and elbows stacked directly over your shoulders. Ooh, I'm really starting to feel this here. Okay, 12 seconds to move on to exercise three, which is a deadlift. So a hinge from the hips, a nice flat back, come up. Upright row. All right, let's go. Slight bend in your knees. Nice flat back like you're serving a tray of tea on your back. And that might be here with the dumbbells, or you might be able to lower the dumbbells just a little bit. Elbows out, dumbbells in towards your chin as you come into that upright row. So I'll face you guys for this upright row. Squeeze your butt at the top and squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top. All right, so go ahead and put that bender ball down. Our last two moves are balancing. So I'm gonna balance on my left foot. I'm gonna bend my right knee, palms face forward as I come into a bicep curl option as you curl to extend that elevated leg. And if you're extending, you're pressing through your heel, working into your quadricep, working into your hamstring. And for that bicep curl, my elbows are pinned in to my side so that my bicep is doing the work and not momentum. All right, other side, we're going to do a hammer curl. So this time, palms face in, ground through that right foot, lift your left knee, drop your shoulders, and curl. If you want to extend, you can come into the extension. Otherwise, you hold the knee bent at 90 degrees. That's okay. 
Continue to squeeze the quadriceps, squeeze the glute in on the supporting leg. All right, back to the top, friends. So in nine seconds, we're back on with that plank row. Grab your bender ball, come back into your plank, and let's go. So draw your elbow against your side ribs as you row your dumbbell up. Protect your neck, gaze down towards your dumbbells or just beyond the horizon, the edge of your mat. Can you step your feet in a little bit closer together? If you have the bender ball, give it a good squeeze. If you don't, imagine you have that bender ball and you're squeezing it to keep your hips from rocking side to side. All right, bridge number two. Come on to your back, walk your heels in towards your hips. Lift your hip points, your hip bones, as high up as you can as you draw your tailbone towards the backs of your knees. Ooh, my triceps are on fire. Keep those elbows pinned in towards one another. They have a tendency to want to come out. All right. Deadlift, upright row. Slight bend in the knees. Shoulders down and back. All right, butt back like you're closing a car door. Come up, pull your tush under, upright row. So in that upright row, those dumbbells trace the entire front line of the body. They come up towards your chin and out and up with your elbows. So I'm gonna face forward again. So slight bend in the knees, bump the car door shut with my butt, paint the front side body, squeeze the glutes, upright row. All right, single leg bicep curl. So this time I'm grounding my right leg, palms face forward, Left knee bent for those bicep curls, and I'm going to extend and kick. Extend and kick. So kind of think of the movement in that extending leg also from the inner thigh. My foot is slightly turned out, and my toes are flexed back towards my knee. But again, you can be here or you can even be here with those toes resting on the ground to stabilize you. Just depends on where your balance is today. All right, now hammer curls. Balancing on the left leg, so I'm planting the four corners of my foot, squeezing my muscles up towards the midline of my body, lifting my pelvic floor, pulling my belly button back. And again, my elbows are pinned into my side ribs. I'm not going fast. The slower I go, the more I work into those muscles. Exhale as you curl and extend. Inhale as everything lowers. Exhale. Inhale, lower. All right, and just like that, we're on round three. Grab your bender ball if you have it. Come into your high plank, top of a push up for our rows. Take an inhale. Exhale, row. Inhale, lower. Exhale, row. Inhale, lower. Squeeze those inner thighs. Draw your belly button. 
back towards your spine. So what's interesting, my heart rate is pretty high here and we're not doing any jumping. It's just these heavier weights keep my heart rate elevated during this set. So lucky you, you get to listen to me breathe. <laughs> Last five seconds here, maybe step your feet in just a little bit closer. All right, onto our bridges. Come down onto your back. Elbows over shoulders, lift the dumbbells into the air. Squeeze those inner thighs together or squeeze that finger ball if you have it. And you should only feel this in your triceps, not in your shoulders. It's a very isolating move for the triceps. I don't know if that was correct English, very isolating. It's an isolating move <laughs> for your triceps. Triceps on fire. Wow. Ooh, thank goodness, okay. Now, deadlift, upright row. Hinge from your hips, close the car door, paint the shins, squeeze the buns, pull the dumbbells up to your chin. Think about your low back here. Keep your knees as bent as you need to be able to create a nice long line leading from your chest that makes our low back stay nice and flat. All right, final set of bicep curls. So I am gonna start on my left foot this time. Balancing that left foot, lifting my right with traditional bicep curls, so palms face forward. Whoops, and I just fell, that's okay. We are all human. This is not perfect. So, on that topic of perfect, I've been thinking about doing these videos for a while, and every time I get caught in my own head on how, oh, how am I gonna edit it? How am I gonna do it this way? How am I gonna do it that way? And I was listening to a podcast the other day and it was talking about how perfection is the thing that stops us from doing what we should be doing. And I decided I was just going to let it go and you're going to get what you get. So if you need the quality to be a little better, just let me know and I'll work on it. Otherwise, we're just going to continue doing these home workouts together with my home filming skills. And what that is, is an iPad set up in my bedroom because <laughs> I was gonna do it outside, but my neighbors have gardeners that come on different days. So on one side, it's Tuesday. At my house, it's Wednesday. Next door, it's Thursday. Monday, we have the garbage truck. We never know what time it comes. It's super loud. So I just decided being in my bedroom was the safest bet in terms of being undisturbed. All right. And that, my friends, is the end of our first full circuit. So now we're going to go into our second circuit. Activity complete. And as promised, we're going to start again with our cardio pyramid. So by now we're very familiar with the four exercises, jumping jacks, high knees, mountain climbers, and burpees. And now that we're good and comfortable, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a mix up to make sure that we're paying attention and our brains are working. So I will cue the mix up as we go, just for our first move, the jumping jack. We're gonna do a cross front where each arm crosses over the other, and the legs cross in front of each other at a diagonal. All right, let me go ahead and get my timer ready. Try and catch my breath. Oh, my heart rate's up high. Um, all right, I'm gonna hit start, and it's time for those cross front jacks. All right, just make sure 
you cross the opposite foot and the opposite arm each time. And this arm movement is a really good chest opener. So as you draw those pinkies back, those hands back, we're actually opening up our pecs. And whether you do tons of push-ups and chest presses, or you sit at a computer, or you sit hunched over a phone, those pec muscles get really tight. So this is just a good opener to counteract our everyday life. Last five seconds. All right, so high knees, and this time we're gonna add a little bit of a hold. So just go ahead and get started with me and I'll let you know what the hold is. It's one, two, three, four, five, hold. 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 One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So working on balance, working on core and cardio. How high can you drive that knee up as you pause? Now let's go. How fast can we go? All right, so same thing for the mountain climber. It's gonna be a five count with a hold. So come into your high plank, gaze towards the top of your mat. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, hold. So the five count gets us to the opposite elbow each time. Okay, 10 seconds. Burpees. Let's be in ready position because that 10 seconds goes by fast. Squat down, hands to the mat, jump, or walk it. Okay, that wasn't so bad. All right, 10 seconds rest, and we're back on to those five second mountain climbers. Ready position. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. How high can you get that knee up your arm? Above the elbow, hopefully. Okay, <sighs> who comes up with this stuff? Okay, five count high knee. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. I hope my stomping doesn't sound super loud on there. I'm upstairs, so trying to use my core to keep myself as quiet as I can. A little faster, a little higher. Okay. Final set of those cross front jacks. Okay, cross and open. The cross of the legs works the inner thighs.
don't know about you guys, but I am sweating my tea. Okay, last 20 seconds, let's go faster. figure eight and what that looks like is you have one dumbbell I'm going to start with my heavier one but if I notice that I need to switch I'll adjust for the next round so I'm creating like a rowing figure eight with the dumbbell and I'm not lowering my chest I'm keeping my chest lifted following this we're going to be on our backs for an ab move and then we're going to be back up on our feet for our last three moves of the circuit. Okay, you get your dumbbell ready. I'm going to start the timer and we are going to march. So dumbbell, chest height. Again, it's a balancing move. I'm drawing my knee up towards my chest and my shoulders stay directly over my hips the entire time. Exhale as the knee lifts. Inhale as you come through center. Charlie can't make up her mind where she wants to be. Last five seconds. So you should feel this in your obliques. Okay, move number two. We're on our back. Knees we're in a tabletop here. I'm going to scooch this way. Hold the dumbbell with both hands. We're going to extend the dumbbell overhead. We're going to crunch up. We're going to nestle the dumbbell on our shins. Roll back. Crunch up. Grab the dumbbell. Lat extension. So my work here is keeping my low back flat against my mat the entire time. And of course, the closer I can get that dumbbell to my ankles, the harder it is for me to lift, grab my dumbbell, and then lower back down. Okay, now we're up and at them for something that's called a truck driver. So I'm coming down into a sumo, into a plie. Heels in, toes out. I'm extending that dumbbell, chest height, shoulders down into their sockets, and I'm driving my truck. It's also called a bus driver. Twisting. Maybe I can sit a little lower, I bet you can. Press your outer knees out towards the pinky line of each foot. Drop your shoulders. Tuck your tailbone under. This one is heavy, I'm not gonna lie. My truck is going slow, and that's okay. You should feel this in your core, especially after that last one. Okay, lateral lunge. Take the dumbbell in your left hand, come over to the left side of your mat. We're gonna take a step out with the right foot, hover the dumbbell, lift the dumbbell, lift the right leg. So pull from your elbow as you lift. Find a focus point, something that's not moving down in front of you. Press through the supporting foot. Inhale as you lower, sit back into both heels and lift. If you find yourself like having to step as you come into center, 
Try shortening the distance between your feet. That just means that you're off balance a little bit. Okay, dumbbell in the right hand. This time we're stepping out to the left. I don't know how this looks on the camera. I'm sorry if it's backwards. So pull and lift. My chest is long. I'm looking forward at you the whole time. I can bring my dumbbell all the way down to the ground and keep my back long. If you notice that bringing the dumbbell down makes you look down, then you only bring the dumbbell down as far as you can to keep that long, flat back and your gaze forward. So we're working our core, our glutes. Okay, back to that marching figure eight. Dumbbell chest height. Take a couple deep breaths. And march. Bring the dumbbell to the outside of your hip. Now that we've got our form, let's see if we might be able to speed it up. So I really feel this in the oblique on the side that I'm lifting the leg. Okay, on our backs for that tabletop crunch, so shins parallel to the ground, knees over hips, lat pull over, lift, weight on your shins. Be careful with this, you guys. If you find that the weight is rolling forward, just do a tap until you're able to get your shins and your core. Whoa, I almost took myself out there steady enough. If you have a medicine ball, you could do this with a medicine ball. Also, so remember, keep that low back nice and flat. Press it into the mat as you extend those arms overhead. Whew, that was quick. Okay, truck drivers or bus drivers, plie. So heels in, toes out. Sit low, back up against a wall, shoulders down that wall and drive your bus. I know, it looks easy. Just keep telling yourself it is. It is. My core is going to be so strong. My inner thighs are going to be so strong. Press your outer knees out. Last 10. You've got it. It is heavy. I agree. Three, two, one. All right, lateral lunges. Come over to the right side. I oh, know, come over to the left side of your mat. Take the dumbbell in your left hand. Lunge out right, sit back in the right heel. And pull and lift. So just like in that upright row we did earlier with the deadlift, you want to lead with your elbow. So it's like you're pulling the start of a manual lawnmower. It's called a lawnmower pull. All right, other side. Dumbbell in the right hand. We're going to step out to the left. And go. Sit way back in that left heel. Pull from your right elbow. Squeeze the glutes as you come up. Especially squeeze that 
your left glute as you press off the left heel to come up and squeeze the right glute and leg muscles as you come up to balance. Okay, on to set three. Third and final, marching figure eight. So dumbbells chest height. Let's go. Inhale, center. Exhale, lift and twist. Now, focusing on speed as long as you can keep your form. If our form becomes compromised, we back it off in terms of speed. Okay, tabletop crunch. You guys, I'm so sweaty. Okay, organize, knees over hips, shins straight, crunch up, lower, press that low back into the mat, re-extend the arms overhead, lift. Okay, so this is a really controlled movement. Like I could go faster, but then momentum would be working and not my muscles like this lift right here. It's crazy hard. Okay, grab the dumbbell. Overhead. Back up. Rest it on the shins. Extend. Press your low back into the mat. Oh, save butt bell. Okay, up for bus drivers, truck drivers, whatever you want to call them. Plie. Heels in. Toes out. Flat back. Sink a little bit lower. Press the knees open a little wider. Squeeze your glutes. Pull your belly button back, in, and up. And continue pressing out those outer knees. Where are we? Last four seconds. Oh gosh. Okay. Come to the left side of your mat. Dumbbell in the left hand. We're going to be stepping right. Left, right. Pull. Right. Pull. So the heavier the dumbbell here, probably the slower you're going to go but definitely working more strength and balance. And I probably should have said this from the beginning, but you don't have to balance. You can just tiptoe, kickstand on that toe. Draw your elbow back. Okay, other side. Come to the right side of your mat. Whew, catch your breath. Step your left foot out. Pull your right elbow up. Feel your low abs contract as you draw your knee. Up. Inhale, lower. Exhale as you pull and lift. Working our core. Working our right arm. Both inner thighs. Both glutes. It's a very multitasker of an exercise. Okay. So that is the end of our strength section. So we're going to get ready for our fourth and final Cardio pyramid. Okay. Activity completed. Help me through this, guys. <laughs> My heart rate is already up to 150. So I'm going to set the timer 
60 seconds of jacks. This time we have front jacks. So what those are is your arms come up, left hand over right, press your right hand down. Arms come up, right hand over left, press your left hand down. So again, it's just like that monster kick move we did in our warm up. In addition to getting our heart rate up, working our legs, we're really working our core here as you press your arm down, okay? Our high knees is gonna be a high knee twist this time, so working into our obliques. Our mountain climber is gonna be an outer knee mountain climber, so you either step it or you hop it. And our burpee is gonna be good old fashioned regular burpee. Okay team, are we ready to do this? Okay, third and final pyramid set. Starting the timer on a minute, it's that front jack. Let's go, arms up, left hand over right, right over left. Use your core to resist pressing the hand down. Exhale as you come down, inhale as we open. Okay, now that we've got the hang of it, let's go a little bit faster. I have sweat flying. <laughs> Last 20 here. time. Final 15 seconds of burpees. And go. Squat down. Plant your hands. Jump your feet back. Then it's right back to our Spider-Man mountain climbers. Okay, that went way too fast. Back to plank pose. We work our way back up the pyramid for the last time. Elbow or knee above tricep. Option to hop or just step. Either way, I want you to go fast and I want you to keep your heart rate up. Last cardio burst here today. Okay, cross body twist, high knee, catch your breath.
Drive the knee up. Let's go. Last time here. You have 20 seconds left of this move today. Final 10. Okay, back to those front jacks. Remember, top hand presses the bottom hand down. Woo. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to quit, but I didn't. I kept going. One more one because I didn't want to have to film this again. <laughs> Number two, I know you guys are out there working hard with me and I want to keep up with you. Crunch, crunch. Alternating hands. Out for your equipment. You have less than 20 seconds. Activity completed. Okay, that is the end of our cardio. We're on to our last strength set and for this last set you're going to need your band if you have it so we're going to work our glutes and we're going to work our core so go ahead and bring this band up above your knees and I'm actually going to be really nice to us these exercises <laughs> I like how I said that would be really nice. These exercises are going to be 30 seconds each. And I'm going to give us 10 seconds to transition between each exercise. And our first exercise is going to be a superman, superwoman. So I'm going to move my dumbbells way out of the way. So we're not going to need those. I'm going to move my mat over here a little bit just so I have some additional space. And I'm going to come to lie on my stomach and I'm going to extend my arms long and as I come up I'm going to press out against the band to bring my um, ankles out and then I'm going to draw my elbows into my side body. Okay, So this is exercise number one. When the timer starts, we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. So get in that position, extend your arms long, legs long, about hip width, and then lift and pull. So pull your belly button back towards your spine, and you really should feel the resistance in your outer glutes here as you pull against the band. Maybe you can lift your chest just a little bit higher. Maybe you can lift your legs a little bit higher. Keep your gaze down in front of you. Okay, so now we're gonna come into a tabletop and I'm gonna face you guys. So my shoulders are over my wrists, hips over my knees, and I'm gonna work on my right side only. Fire hydrant, and then if you'd like to take it further, press through the heel. Fire hydrant, press through the heel. So do your best to draw that knee in line with your hip and then press out through your heel. If you're not doing the press, you're a lift and lower. So lift, knees back together, lift, and if you're doing the press, bring the press out. So I forgot to say, if you don't have a band, it's no big deal. You don't need a band for this move. Okay, right, now left side. Squeeze your left glute, lift your left knee, press through your heel. 
Squeeze the glute as you initiate the movement. Press through the heel. Lift, press, and bring it back. Lift, press, bring it back. So focus on keeping the hip and knee in line. Okay, fourth exercise is a variation of the Pilates 100. So extend your legs or keep them in a tabletop. Roll up, head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Pump four times with your hands down, four times with your hands up, four times with your hands down. Turn your toes out, four up, four down, one, two, three, four up. So my low back is pressed into the mat and my shoulders are down into their sockets. Now, how much faster and how much more resistance can you put on those hands? Okay, fifth exercise, bring the band around your shoelaces for some bicycles. So press out with the heel, come back through center. Center, opposite shoulder to opposite knee. So I don't want you pulling on your head and bringing your elbows in. I want your elbows out wide so that you can't see them in your peripheral vision when you lengthen. All right, back to the top. Bring the band back up above the knees, super women. Come onto your stomach, send your arms long, pull back, reach, exhale, and pull. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, work. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze. I bet you can draw those elbows back even further and press out even harder against the band. Okay, hydrants round two. Back to my right side. I know it might look like your left in the film. Okay, squeeze the glute, extend the knee out to the side. Option to add the kick. Really working into glute medius here. Also working into my oblique. And notice that my shoulders are staying squared to you. I'm not opening up to my right side. Really pressing into my right hand. All right, left side. Squeeze the left glute. And lift from the knee and the outer heel. Inhale as you come down, exhale with the work. And then look down in front of you. You can press your fingertips into your mat or into the floor to help stabilize yourself. All right, hundreds on our back. <clears throat> Keep your low back on the mat. Roll up, head, neck, and shoulders. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Shh, shh, shh. Maybe you can lift your low shoulder and lower your legs a little bit more. Keep your low back. So this portion of my back is flat on the mat. Four pumps, palms up. Four pumps, palms down. Palms are up. Keep your thumbs way out to your side, opens up your shoulders. Okay, band over your shoelaces, coming into bicycles, fingertips behind the ears, elbows out wide. Press away with your opposite heel as you draw opposite shoulder to opposite knee. So notice my shoulder and my knee aren't meeting each other. It's the isometric move and the knee staying directly over the hip that works so deep 
into your front abs and your obliques. Okay, from the top, third and final time, and then this party is over. Don't be sad. Okay, come on to your stomach. Super women. So this time, let's challenge ourselves. Oh, I'm so off center. Hold your elbows down into your side and really press out against the band. And then inhale, lengthen, and exhale like you're pulling yourself forward as you draw your elbows back into your side body. Squeeze. I promise you'll feel this tomorrow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Okay. Hydrants. Round three. Working into the glute. Squeeze the outer right glute. Lift the knee and kick. Let's do it. Let's end strong here. So I know you're tired. Believe me, I'm tired. Squeeze the glute, lift the knee, press through the heel. But it's a matter of seconds. So let's just get it done. And step off of our mat and out into our Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Feeling strong and accomplished. See, and just like that, that side is done. Okay, left side. Squeeze your left glute. Think about it. Lift. Knee in line with hip, press out through the heel. Exhale, work, inhale, lower. Squeeze and exhale, inhale as you lower. And the lowering should be slow and controlled. Okay, see if you can lift the knee a little bit higher. Press out. Last three seconds here. Okay. On our back for our Pilates hundreds. So again, hover your legs where they need to be. Point through your toes, lift head, neck, and shoulders. Pump four up, four down. One, two, three, four. Pull your belly button back to your spine. Relax your shoulders down into their sockets. And if you need to take turns holding your hands, then you pump four on each side or lay your head back and pump, or bend your knees, and pump. Lots of options here. Just a couple of seconds left, you guys. We are so close. Okay, move the band down around your shoelaces. Final set of bicycles. Knees above hips, elbows out wide. How hard can you press against that band as you extend that leg? So this is working your hamstring, your glute, on that lifted, or rather, um, lengthened leg. Be sure to keep your low back flat on the mat and shoulder in the direction of your opposite knee. I need to lift a little bit higher. Oh, God. Okay, it's over. Extend <laughs> your arms long, toes long. Pull your low belly in. And just begin to draw some circles with your wrists and maybe with your ankles. Rock your head side to side. Hug your knees into your chest. I'm going to scooch down a little bit so you can see me better. And keep your tailbone nice and flat on your space. Bring your left foot down. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and come into a figure four here. So I'm gonna thread my right hand through the figure four and I'm gonna grab for the front of my left knee. You might grab behind your left thigh. You can also press the right knee open just a bit here. Wherever you're at, think about the stretch in this outer right glute, your piriformis. Knees in line with knees, tabletop in the left leg. Keep this shape with your legs, cactus your arms, bring your left foot back down to the mat and twist over towards your left, your right foot comes down to the ground. And you can even bring your left hand to guide your right knee open just a bit here. We just did a lot of butt work. And there was actually quite a bit of butt work in 
the workout. But I think we worked pretty much every muscle group. We did legs, we did butt, we did core, we did back, we did triceps. So yeah, chest, pretty much everything. Okay, come up, lift your left foot again and cross your right knee directly on top of your left knee. Hug both knees into your chest and keep your low back nice and flat on the mat. So either you stay here or for a deeper stretch, we're gonna handle bar this. So you're gonna take right hand to the outside of the left foot, left hand to the outside of the right foot. And you're gonna to continue to draw your knees in towards your chest, just stretching hip flexors, piriformis, and then loop your shoulders down into their sockets and keep the backs of your shoulders on your mat. Let's take one more breath cycle here. Then release the feet, hug the knees into the chest, uncross the right leg. Take a deep breath in and then come into figure four on the left. So left ankle crosses in front of right knee. And then I'm bringing both um, palms to the front of my left knee, or you can bring both palms behind your right knee, or you can press that right, press your left knee open as you draw your right knee in. Whatever feels good to you, but just make sure you're not like lifting your butt and your shoulders. You want to stay wherever you can keep the backs of your shoulders, the backs of your head, and your tailbone flat on your mat. Okay, twist, cactus arms. I'm gonna bring my right foot down. I'm gonna keep my left leg exactly as it is. And I'm gonna come over, twist right, so that my left knee, louder left knee of my right foot, come down to the ground. Gaze out towards the left. Maybe you wanna use that right hand to peel open that left knee just a bit. Take a couple slow, steady breaths. Say thank you to yourself for showing up for this workout today and for sticking through it. It was a tough one. Come back to center. Left knee over right. <clears throat> Pull both knees into your chest, keeping your low back flat on the mat. And if you'd like to take it a little bit further, we're going to come into that cow face, Gomukhasana with our legs. So right hand to the outside of the left foot, left hand to the outside of the right foot. And again, my tailbone, my low back, and the backs of my head and shoulders are flat on my mat as I stretch deep into my outer hips here. Slow your breath. Think about guiding your breath into those outer hips, hip flexors. One more inhale, one more exhale, release. Cross your ankles, rock and roll. Come up into a tabletop and then plant your hands. Come back into a downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Okay, you guys, my mat is covered in sweat. How about you? And then slowly walk your hands back to your feet. You can ragdoll it here for a minute if that feels good. Taking a nice deep bend in your knees. Let your chin come in towards your chest, head hang heavy. And then slowly roll it up. Okay, give yourself a nice pat on the back. Have an awesome day. Thank you for working out with me. And I hope to see you back soon again. I have a yoga video that I published yesterday. We have this workout and then I'm gonna to continue to try to publish a couple of yoga videos and a couple of um, workout videos each week. The workouts might be a little bit shorter. The yoga video yesterday is pretty long too, so we'll probably work on condensing those a bit. But anyway, thank you very much for working out with me. Have a great day.